that stretch when they got uh, some gap time on us. Uh, we, we had to make those shots. We had some open, few open looks, and uh, those things have to go down just to keep contact with them. And give us a chance at the end. And, you know, we did a nice job defensively. And in the second half, we didn't make a three. And probably had to make you know, three or four of those in the second half to have a chance. Questions for uh, Chandler? Chandler? Coach. Go ahead. Coach. Let's do the player first, yeah. and we'll go to the back. Chandler, what did you think of this team? Obviously, they're kind of, I don't know if you know, but they're in an awkward situation. You know, a new coach coming in. But what would you just see from them on the court tonight? What you think of their energy? Um, well, yeah, it was a team that, you know, like you said, they're dealing with something, a uh, unique situation in the coaching deal. But, you know, they played together. They looked like they were out there playing hard for each other. Um, you know, they were they were battling down low. Um, a lot of their bigs, you know, um, just kind of out us down there at times. But, um, yeah, they were a collective unit, you know, regardless of the coach. I didn't even, I wouldn't even have been noticed if I didn't know about the uh, ordeal they played together. Chin, we haven't talked about it a little bit, but uh, you know, not being able to hit three pointers. Um, I know in the first half you were able to afford that, you know, against Utah. But in this game, to not have it happen in the second half, what kind of went wrong off offensively in those last ten minutes? Um, you know, I don't think anything really went wrong. We had a lot of opportunities there, um, wide open shots that you know, guys, we counted on guys to make down the stretch of the season. Uh, you know, warm up shots, some wide open shots uh, that just didn't fall. You know, and that's it's frustrating when that happens because you get the looks. We work on, you know, specifically it was to, you know, a dribble and a pitch out for our guys and to get them open looks. And, you know, I think we executed pretty well, drew the defense, drew the eyes, and made the play. Um, just shots and fall. Obviously, up until then, it was you know pretty back and forth game. What do you think? You know, your team did well being able to obviously go on the road here and uh, have it be competitive. You know, up until the end. Yeah, I mean, we just fought. We just uh, continued to be unselfish. You know, we knew that um, it was going to be a hard-fought game and that, you know, they were going to come out strong. We withheld that first little stand and, you know, their, their up pace, um, stuff like that. And we just continued to just try to execute. Um, you know, our, our coaches did such a good job of getting us in the right spots. You know, Nick hit a couple early. That was huge for us. Kept us right there. Um, you know, just drew up the right plays and we executed. And then, like I said, uh, we had that lead at halftime and it just came down to making shots. You know, and they got hot from the three, hit a couple in a row, and we weren't able to answer. And that's kind of where the lead spread out to. And my last one, uh, you know, obviously looking ahead to next season, uh, you know, Leon said to be back and everything like that. But, uh, you know, probably not maybe ready to, but obviously you guys have a lot of young talent returning, a lot of guys coming back. You know, what are you most optimistic about this team in the program? Um, yeah, I think it's it's obvious to see some of the young talent we have, you know, and, and we've seen it in stretches, you know, in that Utah game and, you know, in the conference and, and big games down uh, this season. So, uh, I mean, people watching us, they know what we've got. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited, more excited maybe than I've ever been for next season, this off offseason. Um, you know, obviously, we don't want to, you know, turn the page real quick. We've got uh, two guys, who, or, well, three guys um, that put a lot in this program this year, you know, and we're going to... Uh, you know, we fought for them tonight, and we wanted to go out the right way. And I think, um, I'd say we, we 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 battled. You know, we we went down to Utah and uh, won a tough one there, and we really believed we could uh, stretch it out here. But uh, yeah, I just just want to focus on you know the seniors we got, and and really uh, not try to turn the page quite yet. Let them uh, handle the situation, and then we'll go for them when uh, you know spring and summer start. Anything else for Chandler? Thank you. Let me go back to us. Questions for Coach? <clears throat> Leon, obviously not having uh, you know David Wacker and James Reed also. You know, you're missing two guys that started Tuesday that you didn't have tonight. How much a difference did that make? But it seems like you know the team was able to handle it pretty well. Well, they competed, and you know our guys they they were shorthanded, no question. And you got two starters that they were starting for a reason. And, um, but the beauty of these guys, they don't they didn't use it as a crutch or an excuse. They just came and battled, and um, you know that that I think. We had a little. We've been playing a lot of guys lately, and and so just having a shorter bench was a little more difficult because every guy you subbed in was a freshman. It seemed like. So uh, yeah, obviously you miss those guys because you know James is senior, 
you're playing on the road. It's nice to have a senior out there to, to deal with that and keep you know keep the freshmen uh, together. And um, and then Wacker, you know, he has a really good value of what he does for the program. So yeah, it's it's tough, but like I said, our guys really proud of the way they competed because you know the score wasn't close at the end, but it was a it was a battle all you know first 32 minutes and 33 minutes and. I look up where down three and we're right there. And just like I said, they just had that gap time where <clears throat> they made some good shots and you know, we, we didn't weren't able to answer. Sorry. Yeah, Coach, is that a mic drop? Yeah. That, that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not over, Dave. Um, Welcome to Dave's world. <laughs> but uh, when uh, you know, offensively, you know, ask Chandler about it a little bit. Uh, you know, what did you see about you know what wasn't clicking for you guys? And obviously, it came at a time when you know, they're, they're couldn't afford it. They're a physical, good defensive team. They they were locked, You know, they weren't making it easy for us to, to get stuff, and uh, they made some nice plays. And um, but we did. You know, when you have those open looks, it's you know it's hard to work for those and hard to get them. When you have them, you just got to go and knock them down. We had. You know, probably four or five open looks in that stretch. I mean, in the last ten minutes, they just have they, those have to go for for you to compete. Uh, what what happened a bit defensively? I think they went they were down by one and they had a dunk and then they wanted a bit of a run. They had a layup and got the and one with it too. Mm -hmm. you, defensively, what kind of happened? You know, well, in those stretches. What happened is, is it starts with a missed shot. You know, on the other end and got them running and you know got us on their heels and they attacked us really well, but. The bad offense, you know, missing a shot, long rebound, the way they go, uh, that leads to tough transition deep. And ask Chandler about it, but the, uh, you know, kind of looking forward you know, for your team, you know, obviously you got a lot of guys coming back. Um, what do you want to see from this team next year? I mean, what, what do you even want to do with, you know, with all these guys that you got coming back? Well, you know, it's, we got to add some more pieces to the puzzle, obviously, you know, that's what guys can do. That we're excited about. And I think the big key, you know, we're a development program. These guys have to develop in the offseason like Chandler did this year. And we need these freshmen to make big, big jumps, you know, not be freshmen anymore. And, and you know, they got good work ethic. They got good, uh, they like being in the gym. They like being together. And fun group to coach. So this, this team, it was a great year. From where we came, uh, when we went on that Costa Rican trip to where we are now, uh, I told him, I don't know if there's any team in the country that came as far as we did. One more? Sorry. <clears throat> I know Nick's been a special guy for you, and um, you know at the end of that first half, you know was, a, was about as on fire as I've ever seen him in his four years. So what was it like, you know, to be able to have him kind of do that? I know obviously the second half didn't go the way you wanted, yeah. but uh, you know have him be you know, yeah, vintage Nick out there. See, you know that's that's Nick coming. That's been vintage Nick. But yeah, you would have liked him to get about eight of them and, and go run out of here. So and that's what Nick's about. He's a leader, and you know, but he competed to the very end, just like the movie we were in. Over the four years, you know, just an amazing guy to coach, and I'm just grateful I got to do it for four years, and you know, I'd be a lifelong friend and a lifelong, you know, person in this program. Really, really proud of.